Hello everyone and welcome. I am so glad you're here. I'm so glad that you're taking this time to imagine and create your life. It's so rare that we kind of take, you know, even 10 minutes in like a writing exercise to just think like, what do I want for my life? What can I imagine for myself? What would feel like magic to me, like a miracle to me? And so if there's nothing else that we get out of this six weeks, we are going to get this opportunity to really zoom out on our life and think like, what would really nourish me? What would really make me feel alive? What do I want for my life that I've been too, maybe too afraid to say out loud, um, maybe too afraid that I, you know, that I don't deserve it or that I won't get to have it. Um, it's really vulnerable to dream. And I think that's one of the reasons why we don't do it or we don't do it in a really expansive way. So one of the functions of this class is to help you expand your sense of what's possible. And we're going to do that in a lot of different ways. Um, but really through story and through being in community together and through just merely the exercise of like sitting and putting pen to paper and thinking about what we'd like to have. Um, I think especially as women, we have this complicated relationship to desire where we are afraid to want too much. We're afraid it will somehow diminish other people if we get what we want or we're selfish or you know there's there's a sort of um rot relationship we can have with uh asking for what we want at least i know for myself that's that's like a a real hallmark of my life and something that i've had to really work with and practice um putting voice to what i want and uh asking for it so if you can relate with that then um, you are in great company. But first I wanna tell you how this whole Mondo Biondo concept came about. And um, I think I wanna start with uh, the first time I learned about manifesting. And uh, the really short version of the story is that I went to this like spiritualist church in Santa Barbara and they had a, a medium there. They had a channeler there on a Wednesday night. And you could go and get a little reading from her. And at the time, I had wanted to move to San Francisco, and I had a friend already here that I was gonna move in with, and he was looking on our behalf, but it was many months, and he was not finding anything. And I was like, what gives? Like, I know it's hard to find a place in San Francisco, but like, what's the holdup? And um, I sat down to have this little mini session with her, and immediately she said, the first thing she said was, I wanna move, and I wanna move now. And I was like, wow. Yes, I do. <laughs> and then she said, but they don't know what you want. Do you want carpet or hardwood floors? Do you want the second floor or the third floor? Do you want good water pressure? Is that what's important to you? And she sort of went on and on. And I got it. And I went home that night and I called my friend Chris and I said, I know why we haven't found what we want. Um, we haven't told them exactly what we want. We need to make a list right now. And he played along with it and we made our list and 72 hours later, he found our apartment. It was on the third floor, it had good water pressure, it had hardwood floors, like all the things in the, in the neighborhood that we wanted, which was Knob Hill, and, um, and it felt like magic. Like it really felt like magic and I was like, what? is this what is this like phenomenon that like and I'm sure you guys have had these experiences right where you speak something out loud and say I'd really like to have this or you write something down and then suddenly the universe begins to conspire in your favor and things start to show up and so part of the impetus for Mondo Biondo was like let's play with that more and let's kind of deconstruct that and figure out how do we create better conditions for these things on our list actually uh, be made manifest and be made real. And what is that? Um, what is that dance? What is that play? How can we um, open ourselves up to more grace when it comes to this kind of flow? And um, uh, you've probably heard me tell this story if you've been following me for a while. But another really fun story that kind of fits into the the Mondo Biondo realm that is a little mysterious is um, so. 
when I did finally move to San Francisco, um, after finding this house, I was working at a clothing store. And I was talking to a customer one day and we started chatting about uh, the name Ben because I had named a mannequin in the store, Ben, my favorite name. And we started talking about Ben Harper and not many people knew about him at the time. This is like 96, 1996. And he knew about him and so we were chatting and I found myself saying, you know, there are artists that you just love and there's artists that you wanna meet and I wanna meet Ben Harper. And that was kind of it, the guy left and that was done. Two hours later, y'all, I walked out and it was a beautiful day in San Francisco and I thought, I shouldn't go home. I shouldn't turn left and just go home. I should like just wander the city for a while. Um, it's such a gorgeous day. So I did, went the opposite direction, just started wandering through the city streets. And after a couple hours, I was tired and I was like, okay, I think I'm done. I saw a bus coming and I thought, I'm just gonna grab that bus. It's going the right direction. So I hop on the 22 Fillmore and it was like slow motion. It's like I start walking on the bus and I see this man and it's like wah, 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 and I sit next to him and I tap him on the shoulder and he takes out his little earbuds and he's like, yeah? And I said, is your name Ben? And he said, yeah. And I said, okay, this is so weird, but I just said I wanted to meet you two hours ago and I just randomly walked on this bus and now I'm sitting next to you. And we had this moment of just like, mar I'm getting chills right now, just like marveling at like the magic. And it was so beautiful. It was like, I got to meet Ben Harper on the bus. He was with his wife at the time and their child and it was magic. I mean, I, and I didn't know what to make of it. So, okay. So fast forward many more years, I have a blog. I start doing this thing with people on my blog where I say, okay guys, let's make our Mondo Biondo list. Let's not stick to like what feels really practical and reasonable and comfortable. Let's go Mondo Biondo. Like let's expand our sense of what's possible. Let's go out into this sort of more miraculous terrain and it's really interesting, you guys, when you make your list, you're gonna see like stuff starts to emerge from your subconscious that doesn't totally make sense all the time. Um, I have a friend who took Mondo Biondo and he was writing his list and somehow he's like, I wanna be in a pentathlon and get a medal. And it was like, I mean, he's athletic, but like he's never been in any kind of event like that. And sure enough, the following summer, he randomly gets hooked hooked up and he gets invited to do a pentathlon in like Hungary. I mean, somewhere completely random. And he ended up getting a bronze medal. So it's like, I don't pretend to know exactly how this all works, but in this course, you guys, we are going to explore, um, like I said, what it takes to create better conditions for these things to unfold. And what I know about it is that it requires, um, it requires us naming it, which is us claiming it to some degree and like really saying like, yeah, like this is how I wanna feel. This is what I wanna do. This is what I wanna learn. This is who I wanna meet. So there's, there's that piece. There's also, which is like a vulnerability piece then there's like the chutzpah and the courage to like say yes and step into uh, these dreams when we see an opening, right? So then there's the, so th it's almost like all these different muscles that we're gonna start exploring and strengthening in this class that are going to allow for the magic to happen. All right, I think I'm gonna leave you there. I just wanted to give you, um, a kind of overview and a welcome and just let you know that because you're here you are one step like huge step closer to really having agency in designing your world and not having it be di by default but by design and I'm super passionate about that and I'm so excited to support you in making your dreams real so thank you for being here and I'll see you soon